Hey Legends, how's it going? Update from Supernats. Yep, carnage. More carnage. More carnage. From carnage to party, let's go. So that was our Supernats entry. So guys, let me give you an update on what happened at Supernats 2024. It was an absolutely killer three days of burnouts, drifting, super skids, Rail race and track cruising. It was a killer event. So let me show you what happened So the first burnout we went out for something come loose or because of my own stupidity rushing around with the car all week The top radiator hose there ended up popping off or because I didn't do up the hose clamp So I fixed the hose clamp and thought well, I'm gonna go out and get these tires off So we got the tires off and we blew this rear quarter out This side managed to hang on Tires, yep, definitely popped. So then it was time to go for a second burnout, and oh boy, did we have carnage again. The second time out, we blew a power steer pump. So I decided to leave the track, hunt down another power steering pump. I had to go, I don't know, would have been at least an hour there, an hour back, and I spent about four hours fixing the car, putting another power steering pump on it, so I lost track time. So we went out for another skid, and something else decided to fail so we ended up getting nearly to the end of the set of these tires and then she ended up deciding that she wanted to blow an alternator on me so these guys here ports real towing come all the way up from devonport it's about an hour hour trip maybe an hour and a half because he brought the tow truck and brought me up a new alternator and also helped me install it in the car and there we go one brand new alternator so then we decided to go out for a second skid after that and anyway we managed to get one tire off but as you can see the second tire just did not want to let go and then it was competition time there was three of us in the six cylinder class it was three barra falcons there was and anyway let me show you what happened i'm sure you can guess more carnage we got halfway through the time these tires were nearly at the end of their life it was halfway through the skid the car was going absolutely brilliant and then all of a sudden Yep, you can probably guess it. I broke something else. And there you have it. We done another factory Falcon steering pump, like far out. So I ended up getting stopped because they seen the um, little propeller off the power steering pump fly off and basically told me to get off the pad. So you may as well say they disqualified me, which ended our run in comp. So, but as for that power steering pump, I've got the perfect solution to fix it so it doesn't happen again. Let me show you what I got. No more blown factory power steering pumps. We've got this one here with a billet alloy pulley and that should not walk off the shaft because the factory ones are prone for walking off the shaft, wobbling around, snaps off, throws your belt, you lose your water pump, power steer, you lose everything and then she's all game over. So we've got another Super Nets event. It's coming up in December. I think it's the first week of December. So... We're doing some upgrades to this thing. We're going over to E85 because she's currently tuned on 98. Don't get me wrong, it's a good tune. The car's fast, revs good, pulls an absolute awesome burnout, which there is a video up. I put up of a burnout if you want to, guys want to check that out. And um, yes, we're switching over to E85. Will we go turbo at the same time? <coughs> Sorry about that. Who knows, will we go turbo at the same time? Let me know in the comments. Should we go turbo the same time as we go as we go E85? So, or do we go E85 and drop a big set of cams in this thing, you know, do some head work and all that, or do we strip a turbo on it the same time we go E85? So, let me know in the comments. And just maybe, if anyone in Tassie has a BA rear bar, maybe hit me up in the comments and let me know, because I could probably do with another rear bar. The plan for the weekend was to live by this saying, a skid ain't over until it's on rims. Well, we didn't quite live up to that. So now I'm gonna hook into this thing. I'm gonna put this new power steering pump on it. Um, we're gonna start organizing some parts, getting it switched over to E85. The guys out at Zoo Performance, they're gonna help me. Um, Jacob McKay, McKay Customs, he's gonna tune this thing. And um, should we go turbo, guys? Let me know in the comments. Should we strap a turbo on this the same time we go E85? Like, you guys let me know what you want to see when we hit the pad in December at the next Supernats 2024. So I'll leave it there, guys, and, um, yeah, 
Hope you enjoyed it. And um, Neil Randy, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, hit the notifications. And, um, yeah, I'll see you next time when we are E85 and hell yeah.